Today's guests, principals, teachers, and fellow students. I am Nazra, and these are my teammates, Nicole, Yen, and Charlize. So our team has constructed a thermoacoustic engine and investigated its possible uses. So a thermoacoustic effect is the conversion of heat energy to sound energy or vice versa. When the air in a specific region of the test tube is heated, it expands and moves away from the heat source. As it moves to its adjacent regions, the air cools down and contracts. So this expansion and contraction of air in the test tube produces a wave. By heating the air at the correct region in the test tube, it is possible to produce a standing wave that has a resonant frequency. In doing so, we can produce a sound that has a large amplitude which we observe as a loud sound. So this brings us to the research question, which is can we produce the thermoacoustic effect consistently in test tubes and what is the possibility of using it to generate electricity? So a test tube is simply a tube with one end open and one end closed. The open end must be an empty node and the closed end must be a node. So from the theory on standing waves, for the second harmonic, if the test tube has a length of L, we can see that the first empty node is formed at the length of L over 3 from the closed end of the test tube. We hence chose to heat the air at this point in order to produce the maximum displacement of air. A bundle of steel wool is also placed at this point in order to better conduct the heat there. Thank you. I'll now pass the time to you. Thank you, Nazira. In this experiment, we use plastics of different dimensions, steel wool, a wet with paper towel, which hot stand, an alcohol burner, a balloon, and a magnet. First, we wrote the steel wool loosely and twisted one third the length of the test tube away from the first end. Next, we place the we place the test tube horizontally and used a short stand to hold it in place. Afterwards, we wrap the wet paper towel around the test tube, partially covering the steel wool. Lastly, we place an alcohol burner below the steel wool and light it. If all goes well, a sound will be produced. In order for this, in order for this setup to conduct or to produce electricity, some modifications have to be made. The steel wool has to be placed closer to the mouth of the test tube, and the rubber membrane from the balloon has to be placed around the mouth of the test tube. Lastly, a magnet has to be placed in the center of the rubber membrane. I will now pass the time to Nicole. Thank you, Rian. So, this is our results. Based on our results, we have observed that there are several factors that affect the production of a standing wave with a resonant frequency, such as the dimensions of the test tube. The dimensions of the test tube needs to be in a ratio between 8.75 to 10 in order for there to be an audible sound. A large diameter in the test tube may produce a distorted wave, thus an audible sound will not be produced. The steel wool used for our experiment also shouldn't exceed 2.5 cm for the test tube that we use. The steel wool needed to be as porous as possible and yet occupy the full diameter of the test tube. The possible reason for this is such that the air passes through easily and minimizes disruption caused to the production of the standing wave while producing heat to the air. Now I'll pass the time on to Shanice. Thank you, Nicole. For the modifications, we attach the balloon around the mouth of the test tube and the magnet in the middle of the balloon. We also shift the steel wool forward. And through this setup, we observe that the magnet needed to be tapped to start movement before it could vibrate. However, the movement was strong and attracted the steel wool, which didn't allow the vibrations to last for long. This is a limitation that we look forward to improving on. So in conclusion, we aim for our setup to be a reliable method in generating electricity through thermal acoustics. The vibration sound waves can move the magnet and possibly produce electricity through electromagnetic induction. We would like to thank our school for giving us the opportunity to participate in this competition. Thank you everyone.